1. The graph of the line of best fit in the diagram on the right shows the value obtained from an experiment which involved two variables x and t. Express t in term of x. So how can we relate x and t? So this one is obviously t and this one is x. You can see this one is x. So the way that you can relate, you know that this one is a straight line, right? So straight line is y is equal to mx plus c. This is the general equation of a straight line. So from the straight line, you can find gradient. So m is equal to y2 minus y1 divided x2 minus x1. So you need to have two points. So we see here, take the easiest point you can take. So, so you see here the first point, this one is see one small box. So this one you know that 10 box is equal to 0 0.2. So one small box is equal to 0 0.2 divided by 10, you get 0 0.02. So this point is 0 and 0 0.02. Okay. And then you see here, find another point. So you need, because we need two points. So this one, you see here 0 0.6 and 1.2. You can take any point that you can see clearly what is the x and y. So this one, y2 minus y1. So y2 is 1.2 minus 0 0.02 divided by x2 is 0 0.6 and x1 is 0. So here we get which is equal to 59 over 30. So you see here, so you have M and C is this one which is 0 0.02. C is the intersect Y intersection which is equal to which is equal to 0 0.02. C is equal to 0 0.02. So Y is equal to T, right? So T is equal to 59 over 30X plus 0 0.02 0 0.02 is also equal to 1.1 1 .1 over 50 1 over 50 so as you can see the answer in the test book is a bit different right so i don't know what point it takes but then uh, the point might vary a bit because i mean of the graph is not really clear but then just take a point that is which is clear to you this is 0 0.6 1.2 and this one is 0 0.2 and this is the answer